part nine of our web design series in HTML will start now with us discussing hyperlinks. Now the whole point of hypertext markup language is to create links that go to other places, either inside your document or to other web pages, for example. So how do we create these links? So that's what we're going to learn about today. So let's start. There are three types of links that you're going to tend to have in HTML. The one is if you link to another file that's in your own, that is your file. For example, you've got another web page that's part of your website. So that's a file that you've created that you want to link to. You could even link it to a document, a PDF document, or maybe a, an image that you want to display by itself. You could do that, but most of the time you want to link to your next a page that's a part of your website. So that's what this link would ideally be used for. The other scenario is you want to link to another website. It's not you didn't create that website. It's just a link to another source. Uh, maybe it's to go to Google or go to YouTube or something like that. You can create a link that goes to another website. And then the last one is a way, like especially if you've got a very long page and you've got lots and lots of text, sometimes you want to create a link where you go from one point in the page to another point in the same page or web document. So that way you can jump around. So it's almost like a bookmark type of idea. So you can use these type of concepts in your links that you create for HTML. So let's go see how we do these. Well, first of all, the link to a file. So if you want to create a link to the file, what we are using is we're going to use the anchor tag and that's the A tag. So that's what we're going to be using for all our links actually. So you have your A tag. Now you actually, for a link to work, you need something to click on to go to that link. You can't just have the A tag. You need something in the document that you could, some sort of text. It could be an image maybe, but you need something that you are going to put the A tag around. So where you start and you end and whatever's between the A tag and the close A tag will become the thing that you can click on to go to whatever the link is. So if you want to click on something, you will see that text in the web page that go to home. And when you move your mouse over it, it'll change to the land to say, hey, you can click on this because it's a link. OK, but a link to where? How does it know where to go? Well, that's one of the attributes that we are going to have to add. We're going to have to add the href attribute and we need to specify what is the name of the file that we want to go to. Now, just like we had with our images, we had to make sure that that file is in the same folder. So make sure that it's in the same folder. But you can specify the link. As you can see there, you can specify the name of the page with the extension. So, if, so you need to specify that if you're going to go to it. And as I said, remember, it needs to be in the same folder as your other HTML documents. OK, so that's how you make a link to a different file that you've created. What about if you want to go to Google from your page and you didn't create Google, but you want to make a link to the Google website? Well, it's very similar. You can have an A tag around the text that is going to be the link or the, maybe it's an image, maybe even. And then you can use the href tag and inside the href, you're going to mention the full URL. And when I say full, I mean full because you can't just say www.google. You need to include that http colon slash slash. Otherwise, it won't work. So make sure that you do that. Now, sometimes when you are going to an external website, um, ideally, you don't want to lose the person on your website to another website. You want them to, they can go look at their website, but you want to keep your website open on the side there almost. So what you could do, another attribute, particularly for this scenario, um, is where you can specify the target. And what that does, they just type in target equals underscore blank. That'll make the external link, the Google part, open in a new tab or window so that you can still, so you'll still have your website open on their page, but it'll also create another option for them. So that's how you create a link to another website. Now, if you want to create a link to another place in the same document, this one's a little bit more intricate, but it's still very easy to do. But there's two parts to this. We need to, first of all, create the destination of where we are going to go to. I can't create a link to go to somewhere in the page where I don't know where I'm going. You need to first create where this is the point where I want to end up. And so for that, we use the A tag again, but instead of using the href, we use the name tag and you can give it whatever name you want. Nothing's going to change to the text. Nothing's going to happen to the, to the, the HTML file or the, the, the way that it looks by using this A tag with the name. 
it's going to look exactly the same. But what we are doing is we are creating an invisible marker that says this is this place is this is where I'm creating a marker and we're calling it place. But you can use whatever name you want. So name could equal top, name could equal part two if you want to, whatever you want to call it. So you first create the destination. And that's like the bookmark part. Then you need to create the link that goes to the destination. That would be somewhere else on the page. It says, hey, we're at this point. We want to move to that other point that we marked off earlier. And to do that, we go back to our original setup. We have the A tag around the text that will be the link, for example. And href will now equal to whatever name you gave that bookmark earlier on. The only difference being that you've got a hashtag in front of that. So whatever name you gave it, if you gave it the word top, then you must say hash top to go to that particular point. Okay, and that's how you can create. Basically, you created the bookmark earlier. Now this is creating the link that's going to go towards that bookmark. So let's go try this out in an HTML document. Okay, so welcome. Let's try out these different uh, options that we want to try. So we're going to first start off with the link to a different page. So I'm going to first of all, I'm going to go... I've got a second page that I created. So this is my second page. So you can see it's a nice little page. It's got the word um, home at the top, which I'm actually going to change to other. other. So I don't want to have the same title. And you'll notice that this page has a yellow background. Okay. And it says second page as a second heading there. So this page is slightly different. And I've saved it in the same folder as my page there. You can see there's the second page. You see there it is. Okay. So it's in the same folder as my home page. So if I go to my home page and let's say underneath, let's say underneath the, the break, you know, let's go underneath the line over here. We're going to add a little thing. Go to second page. So that's the text that I'm going to display. Okay. So let's just run it and let's go refresh it. There we go. go. Now when I click on that, I want to move to the second page. So I'm going to put an A tag around it and then I'm going to close the A tag. And then I'm going to type in a property href equals the name of that page, which as you can see over there is secondpage.html. And I just have to type it as it is because it's saved in the same folder as this page. So there we go. So I'm going to save it. Now I've got a funny, if we click on it now, you can barely see your link over there. Why? Because it, links tend to go blue when they are, haven't been clicked on and they go purple when they have been clicked on. So if I click on it, it's going to go purple. So if I click on it, boom. First of all, you can see that it works. It went to the second page. You can see it's the other page. It's the yellow one with the, with the blue text. So it is working. So it's going to that page. So let's go back. Um, so if I refresh this, you, it's obviously it's giving me a little, it's that, that blue part is a bit annoying that it's not going another color. So I would probably want to change the font color of my tags in this case because I've got a blue background. So I went ahead and did that. I changed the font color of my text. That's going to be the link. Um, so just a little tip. If you're going to change the font color of a link, you must put the font color inside of the a tag so do the a tag first not inside but do the a tag first then change the font color if you change the font color and then do the a tag it's going to override it and make it blue so you want to do the font changing of color be after you've done the a tag so that you can actually see your link so that's my link i'm gonna have to do that probably with all my links in this page because otherwise it's not going to work okay so there we go so that's the the one page let's go to my second page and let's add a link here that goes to our youtube channel so go to YouTube. This will be to the YouTube channel. I want to create a link in this page. So this would be on the second page. So somewhere over here. If I save this and refresh this, there you can see go to YouTube. And I want this to go to my YouTube channel. So we're going to put an A tag and then we're going to close the A tag like that. There we go. That's great. And now I need to say href equals to the website that we're going to go to. Now, if I type it in like that, that's not going to work. If I click on it and then I refresh, now we can see it's a link. If I click on it, it doesn't work. It thinks that it's going to a file. So let's go back. We must put in the HTTP colon slash slash part. Now it's a link. Now if I save it and refresh this and I click on go to YouTube, now you can see, ah, oh, it looks like it's going to be going. Yeah, there we go. It's going to, it's going to YouTube to my YouTube channel. So let's go back again. I don't want it to go in the same page. I want to keep this page open. So I'm going to add another property 
after that, I'm going to say target equals underscore blank. So by doing that extra little bit, now when I refresh it and I click on the link, you'll notice that it's another tab that's opened and I've still got my original page open, but there my YouTube channel's opened in a brand new tab. So there we go. That's an example of a link to another website. Now what happens if we want to go at the bottom here? I added a whole bunch of text onto this page. So let's go back to our main page over here. I added a whole bunch of text right at the bottom. Let's say at the bottom here, I want to be able to go back to the top. Well, the first step is to create the destination. We're going to go to the top. Let's do it by the heading, for example. I'm going to create an A tag here that is not actually a link, but it's just an anchor, uh, a bookmark, basically. So for the bookmark, we're going to say name equals, and let's give it a name. Let's give it top. I'm happy with the word top. So there I said A name equals top by the word Mr. Long Education. So if I go right, if I save, have a look here, have a look at the page. Did anything change? Nothing changed. Why? Because we just created like this invisible bookmark. Now that I've got my bookmark, I can go all the way down here to the bottom of the page. And let's say I'm going to create a link that says go to top. Okay, so now I'm going to create an A tag around this text that's going to say, hey, I want you to jump to the top of the page. In other words, href equals to whatever the name is that we gave it. But uh, it mustn't just be that. It must be hashtag whatever the name we gave it. So we use the word top over there. Boom. So we are going to use the word top over here to jump to it. Okay. But it's going to probably be very difficult to see. So I'm going to copy this quickly so that we can see what it looks like, the tag. So inside of the A tag, I'm just going to change the font and change the color of the uh, of text so that I can see what it looks like. There we go. So that's, that's all good. That's all good. Boom. So let's go save. Let's refresh. If I scroll down, there's the go to top. Now, if I click on it, do you see how I jumped to the top? Because it went to the bookmark that we created first. It jumped to the bookmark. Okay, so those are the three links that you can create in an HTML document. Speaking about links, click on the link for the subscribe button so that you can subscribe to our videos. Leave a like, leave a comment, click on the playlist to links to other videos. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.